Yo, what up, my Shadow Army? So, as I, Shadow Critic, is back again with another Devilman video. So, yesterday I'll be doing something that I wanted to work on for a long time, and that is which one of these two versions did it better? The manga of Devilman or the Devilman Crybaby? 1972 versus 2018 and this is just my personal opinion about who I, what I believe is the best and let you guys know I am 100% biased I love both of these as equals even though I love Devil Mad Cry Baby as more and let you guys know I will be only just showing the images of the what you can see on the thumbnail each of the manga version and the poster of Devil Man Cry because I will not add any footages or images of the manga and the show because you know how YouTube is with all this kind of bullshit they do and I will do like compare which one I prefer better of the characters and the death if you guys do not want to get spoiled I highly recommend you guys leave because this will contain spoilers for both manga and the show and also, I might add something diff, might add things, something that doesn't involve death and the characters, like um, something that existed, something that doesn't exist. So, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go into uh, focus on one thing, then go focus on to another, and talk about the characters and the death, etc. So, yeah. Well, out of the way, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, I just want to get this one out of the way. Um, in the manga of 1972, A Devil Man, there is no sex in it. I mean, there is drug and nudity, but there is no sex in the manga, just, well, drugs and nudity. And in the manga, Akia doesn't, you know, get involved with sports because he does have potential, but he's not interested in doing sports or anything like that. And um, I'm going to go straight to um, the, the demons first, which is Cyrene and Jinmen. Uh, Cyrene is, uh, the demon who wants Amar to come back, but, but she is not the character who just wants all she wants to get fucked or get raped by Amar or anything like that, but she does get killed in the manga, and also the, the animated classic show of Devilman, the problem that's her purpose is to reunite with Amar, but kind of that fails. G-Man, on the other hand, G-Man doesn't possess Akia's father. It's just some random person who gets possessed by a, possessed by a demon of Jinman. Pretty much that's the only thing I can think of. Um, Miko, she doesn't have a major role. She's just, you know, there and she gets, she does become a devil man. And, of course, later on she does get experiments on the scientists. If you guys watch uh, Devil Man Crybaby, there is an Easter egg of the manga version of Miki, but... Well, I'm sure I will get to Miki when I get to the Devil Man Cry Baby. So yeah, for for Miki, I you guys know I do not like this version of Miki because she became a uh, Carrie, but later on she became a tomboy like bitch, which I don't like. Calling Akia a Cry Baby until Akia became Devil Manly, and she became straightly as uh, Akia's lover, aka Akia's bitch. So yeah. And I want to save the death and the review and the ending for last. So that's the reason why I'm going straight to the characters. Uh, Rio, he's not like the other counterpart of Devil Man Cry Baby. He is insane, but he does have humanity and he does care and he does cry for sometimes. So he he does have humanity, but he is insane and all. But he shows care or something like that. But not his other counterpart from Devil Man Cry Baby. Akia is, well, just an old kid who doesn't want to hurt anybody, doesn't want to, you know, he does cry, but not a lot in the Devil Man Cry Baby. And he doesn't like violence, doesn't see anybody gets hurt. Until he has the power of Devil Man, he has a reason to fight for. Until everything went through shit, where the humanity turned against him. Which I'm going to get into the reveal. In the reveal when um, the demon exists. Well, in, de in in this version, everyone knows about the demon exists thanks to uh, Zeon who reveals 
everyone around the world that he declares war against humanity. That's how everyone knows that demon is this because as uh, the demon, the demon general Zaid, who revealed to everyone around the planet to declare war, but in the and the Devil May Cry Baby is different. And revealing that, and not only that, that Rio actually reveals that Akia is a demon, etc. And everyone is freaked the fuck out, so that happened. So it's almost similar to, um, almost similar to the Devil May Cry Baby, but different because Wawo well, we'll get to Rio because, yeah. And, um, now we get into the deaths. Back to Jinmen, um, in the manga. There's a little girl that Akia knows and he's really close to, which is called um, uh, Sashiko, I think that's her name. And she just appeared out of nowhere. And then with time skate where Akia take her back to the train, take her to the train so she can head back home, but she gets killed by Jinman. And when Akia sees uh, the death mask of her, she already accepts her fate that she's already dead and she wants Akia to kill her. So Akia had to kill Jinman along with other people who became dead man including her to free their soul so that was what happened to her and uh, in the now we get into the death of the Makimura family the Makimura family uh, the parents of Miki's parents do get taken and they get tortured and beat the shit and getting killed with um, um, Miki's mother gets tortured to death while his father well her father gets way worse by being tortured and lost an eye and getting killed, but almost got sliced in half. Well, almost been tear off in half when they torture him. So, uh, and also, while Akia is questioned about, you know, protecting humanity or something like that. And, um, sorry you guys hear anything banging, which they could fucking stop. But, in a way, uh, like I was saying. And back to Miki's plays uh her brother gets killed by getting decapitated and um but miki does get killed and it's some kind of explosion or again getting killed or something like that i was i was getting confused like wait is she getting sliced in half or something like that until they show the miki's head in a spike and akia does lose his humanity about protecting humans and doesn't blame all that on Ryu, but he blames that on uh, um, blames that on the humans that that he he sworn to protect or something like that. So yeah, the ending is kind of like similar to the Devil Man Crybaby, but also different. Where um, in in this manga, Ryu realized what he just did. He just killed someone that he cared. What well, Devil May Cry Baby is the opposite. Almost the same, but almost opposite. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the manga version. Because the manga version went so fast and went so much pace. In the manga, I didn't even care about the characters. Because I know something's going to happen. But the death is completely different. Well, in the Makamura family, is different. But the, but the death of Miki is the same. But Taro's death is... Uh, something that I was not expecting is completely different than the Devil May Cry Baby. So, yeah. And plus, keep this in mind, this this event happened in 1980X, which is happened in, in the manga. So, that means the technology doesn't exist in the world of Devil, this manga of Devil Man. And, there's, and to me, there's like no development for each of the characters. The only person who has a development was Akia as a whole. In my opinion, for the rest of it, I just don't see no development in them. I didn't care for them. So, yeah. So, pretty much, that's all that I have to say about the manga version. Now, I want to go into uh, Devil May Cry Baby. But like I said before, I was just going to get straight to the part, the easiest one. Devil May Cry Baby is the only anime that has sex in, but in the manga, it doesn't. So, the sex was unexpected and it actually works well. So, yeah. And the sports, Akia does get involved sports because thanks to the live action of Devil May Cry ba Devil Man, uh, that's the reason why the Devil May Cry Bear decided to make Akia do some sports because of it. So, yeah. When we get to Sirene, Sirene is a bit short because, like I said before, uh, Sirene's only purpose is to reunite with Amon, so all she wants is to have sex with Amon 
and she is thirsty as fuck, so that's pretty much her purpose. And Jinman, Jinman does possess Akia's father, uh, Rijiro Fudo, who actually possessed by get possessed by Demon Jinman, kill everyone including his wife, and trying to fight against Jinman, but does get killed, and Jinman took full control, and Akia has to well, well, I will have to say that for the death. So yeah. For Miko, she does have a major role and she does become a devil man with demon with different demon forms of of uh, as a spider. And she does have a major role for only for Miki and she has feelings for Miki and I like this version of Miki better in my opinion. So I will say that to my final thoughts. So yeah. For Miki, uh, Miki is the most kindest person and always doesn't care how the world is. She understands where everyone is coming from. But she's the more light-headed to the entire characters, etc. Than her other counterpart in the manga. So, yeah. For Rio, he is way too complicated to explain. He's He doesn't understand about humanity. He does not understand of love and heart. He doesn't care about anyone. He doesn't care if anyone dies, etc. So... Yeah, that's the one thing that... Oh, there's one thing I honestly forgot about Rio is his past. So, yeah. I might as well add it in since I honestly forgot about it. In the manga, Rio, the Rio, Rio is not really Rio Asuka. Because the real Rio Asuka died in a car accident, but Rio... The Rio in the manga is, well, Satan as a reincarnation of Rio Asuka. But in here, this version of Rio is uh, just an, an omen that everyone believes they call him an omen because he is Satan. So that changed his origin that he's just an omen to everyone in the jungle. So yeah. So I forgot to mention about that, so I might as well add this in for this version of Rio so people can understand. Uh, next is Akia. Akia cries a lot because he cries for a reason because he doesn't like to see people dying and when he hears someone dies or get hurt or someone cannot defend themselves, Akia always cries for them and he always sees like if that person doesn't cry, Akia will cry for them because he can tell that they're hurt, they're pain, they're crying from the inside. They just don't want to show it because it is just pains for them and it pains for Aki at the most so he cries for a reason and that's why he has the power of Aemon because his heart is so pure because well he cares a lot of people until things went through shit so we're gonna get into the review where where Rio actually revealed the demon exists then it's just um, uh, General Zr because in the Devil May Cry Baby there's technology etc so Ryu is the one who reveals the Demon is this, and also he reveals that Aki is the one who caused all of this, and uh, he was about to get killed by these goons. But Miki actually accepted who, who he is now because he's still the same Aki that she remembered. And um, what else? That being revealed. Oh yeah, Satan reveal. I already mentioned that, so I don't need to get into that. Um, so pretty much, that's pretty much it of the reveal. That Rio is the one who reveals the demon and reveals that Akia is also a demon. So yeah. Now we're going to get into the death. The death is... First, Jinman. Akia has no choice to kill his parents. Because uh, Rijiro, uh, his father tried to possess the power of Jinman but failed. So that caused his life. And Akia has no choice to kill Jinman along his parents so, that, so he can free their soul. And, uh, what else? And also the death of Miki's parents and his brother. Um, um, Mik uh, Miki's mother gets killed by getting eaten alive by Taro by turning into a devil man. Yes, in this version, Taro does become a devil, instead of just being decapitated. So, Taro ate his mother, and Miki's father wants to kill his son because he's now a demon, but couldn't, so... Both him and Taro were killed by the the, the Japanese military, killing both 
Mickey's parents and her little brother. So yeah, that happened. And uh, where everyone had been revealed that Akia is a demon, both uh, the rapper goons gets killed, Miki gets killed, and of course the death of um, Miki does end up the same, but she's not the only one who gets her head on the, the stick. Everyone who, you know, help Akia and support him, etc., yeah, they get killed. All their body parts are being part of the sticks. And after Akia sees his home burn, everyone that he knows died, and see the head of uh, Miki, yeah, he lose his humanity because of Rio, etc. So he lost his purpose for a reason to fight for humanity. So, of course, he has one of the most best lines than his counterpart in the manga. Two of them are, you guys who are ones who are demons, you will go to hell, you mortals, you rob me the most precious thing I possess, I will honestly like to cry for you, but all of my tears are dried up. So, I feel like that's one of his best lines than the manga in general. And, so yeah. So that's pretty much it of the death. And also the... I want to say the, the his death for the ending. So speaking of ending, we're going to straight to that. After Akia lost against Ryo, Ryo is the only last remaining, and he tells Akia that there are no such thing as luck, therefore there's no sadness, until uh, Ryo asks why I'm the only one that's talking, and Ryo, and we see Akia died, and we find out that Ryo actually shows feelings and love and sadness for the loss of Akia and he wants to know what is this feeling etc so Akia is dead and because of Rio Rio actually finds the finds uh, actually finally realized that he's in love with Akia and realized that he just killed the man that he loved and that made him sadness so yeah that's pretty much different and opposite of his counterpart because the manga, Ryo is, is, does have humanity, but he's insane. But he still has humanity. But Ryo doesn't understand about anything, doesn't show any emotion until the ending. That he actually showed love and, and care for Akia. So, yeah, that's one thing that's completely diff different between Ryo from the manga and the show. So, yeah, that's pretty much it I have to say about, about Devilman Crybaby. And now I'm gonna get to my final thoughts about what I believe is the best and which did it better. And like I said before, I am 100% biased between both of these. I love the manga, I love the show, I love everything that involved Devilman, so I am 100% biased, even though I've been doing a lot of Devilman Crybaby content, but at least I'm trying something else besides just Devilman Crybaby content. So if I had to choose which one did it better, which one is the best, it will honestly be Devilman Crybaby because it did a lot more better than the manga and gave a lot of characters a development and gave uh, all the characters as a lovable character and show that you care for them and it's just the best and it also has the uh, best storytelling and also it shows how easy the humanity are easy to corrupt and it shows slow pace and building up the characters. But when the manga is just going so many fast pace, etc. And not giving no time for the character to have development or have any moments or anything like that. So that's the reason why I believe that the show did a lot more better than the manga in my opinion. But that's just me. And I highly recommend you guys go watch The Neverman Crybaby before you guys get the chance. And it's not just a show, I highly recommend you guys go read the manga as well. So you guys can understand the original and you guys can understand why I believe uh, I didn't like how it went so fast. Because there's only five volume of Devilman for the original of 1972. So yeah, in my opinion, I believe, in my opinion, not believe, but anyway, my in my opinion, Devilman Crybaby is the best and better than 1972 of Devilman by Gonna Guy. But that's just my opinion. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it I have to say. Let me know down below, tell me what you guys think. Which one you believe is the best and better? Do you think that the manga of Devilman is better than Devilman Crybaby? 
Or you guys agree that Devilman Crybaby is a lot more better and the best than the manga version of Devilman? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my social media, my Discord server, my GoFundMe page. Will all be down below. Subscribe, you guys know what all this shenanigans. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Neil before Shadow Critias. I'll see you guys later.